Hi, my name is Ryan Sperry, and I did my paper on the adaptations of pine trees in response to fire and competition. And my thesis was, the evolution of pine trees has been influenced by a range of factors, including competition with other plant groups and environmental conditions, leading to the development of different fire survival strategies and adaptation to ecological niches. Climate. During the Cretaceous period, which occurred 144 to 66 million years ago, the evolution and distribution of pine trees was largely driven by climate and fire. The period was a time of transition for terrestrial plants, with seedless plants like ferns dominating the beginning, gymnosperms like pines in the middle, and angiosperms ruling by the end. Fire played a crucial role in disrupting gymnosperm forests and making room for angiosperms. The warmer temperatures and higher oxygen levels in the Cretaceous led to especially intense fire regimes. Pine trees grew in the northern supercontinent Laurasia, which corresponds to their current range in North America, Europe, and Asia. Ultimately, the Cretaceous period paved the way for, domin for the dominance of angiosperms by the end of the period. And this figure shows some of the climate things I was talking about. You can see temperature was high, oxygen percentage was high in inner tinite, which is fossilized charcoal, which indicates the presence of forest fires was high and the burn probability was high. And like I said, forest fires uh, disrupted gymnosperms forests and led to angiosperms becoming dominant. And you'll see the adaptations that pine trees had to fire later. Gymnosperms and angiosperms are the two main plant groups today, with angiosperms being more prevalent. The main difference between them is that angiosperms have flowers and fruit, while gymnosperms have naked seeds and cones that act like fruit. Angiosperms became dominant during the Cretaceous period due to their ability to reproduce quickly and thrive in disturbed environments. This led to a positive feedback loop with wildfire. Other factors led to the extinction of many gymnosperms, but some gymnosperms, like pine trees, were able to adapt and survive. Today, while angiosperms are dominant, gymnosperms remain important in certain environments. The competition from flowering plants caused many gymnosperm species to go extinct but it also led to the diversification and radiation of conifers and pines, which have become the dominant tree species in much of the Northern hemisphere. Pines have adapted to harsh environments by developing thin needles that are more resistant to freezing, a thick waxy cuticle that reduces water loss and sunken stomata that help retain water in desert and alpine environments. They have also evolved fire adapted traits that allow them to survive and even use fire for their advantage. Pine trees have developed different adaptations to cope with fire, with some being fire avoiders while others being fire adapted. Fire adapted pines fall into two categories, fire tolerators and fire embracers. Fire tolerators try to survive fires while fire embracers promote fires to maintain their habitat. Pine trees in the subgenus Pinus are often fire adapted, with fire tolerating pines have longer needles and thicker bark to lower fire intensity and protect their cambial tissues. Adult trees can survive several low intensity fires, but saplings require the right environment to survive, often in open patches of forest with less fuel for fires to burn. A mix of fire regimes is important for competition for completion of pine trees life cycle. Examples of fire tolerating pines include Pinus pinea, Pinus pinaster, Pinus silvestris, and Pinus ponderosa.
So here are some fire tolerating pines and you can see uh, they have their branches way up high to keep them out of low intensity surface fires. And this one is Pinus pinea. This one is Pinus pinaster. This one is Pinus silverestris. And this one is Pinus ponderosa, which is the state tree of Montana. Fire embracing pines are pine trees that live in less productive habitats and have adaptations that promote fire, such as, such as retaining dead branches along their trunks and canopies. They have short needles and thin bark and postpone reproduction until a single post-fire reproductive event. They only drop and open their pine cones when stimulated by fire. Examples of fire embracing pines in North America include Pinus contorta, Pinus banksiana, and Pinus attenuate. Uh, so you can see how they keep their dead branches on the lower part of their trunk to act as a fire ladder to get up here. Uh, this one is Pinus contorta. This one is Pinus banksiana. And this one is Pinus attenuate. Fire avoiding pines of the subgenus Strobus are adapted to survive in alpine and arid environments with limited space for growth. They rely on birds to disperse their seeds and have short, densely packed needles to protect them from extreme temperatures. These trees hold on to their needles longer, reducing fuel load and saving energy. This picture is of Pinus albicalis, and this one is of Pinus longevia. And you can tell that uh, these trees are really grumpy and avoid the other trees so that they don't get burned down. Human caused fires, which can occur accidentally or intentionally for land management purposes, disrupt the natural fire regime of forests. These fires may occur at intervals, intervals different from natural fires, leading to an increase in the frequency of fires and a buildup of fuel on the forest floor, making future fires more intense and disruptive. Human caused fires can burn hotter and for longer durations than natural fires causing significant damage to the forest ecosystem, including changes in plant and animal populations and soil fertility. The disruption of the natural fire regime can also lead to the loss of forested areas that would otherwise be maintained through the natural fire regime. Forest managers should aim to keep fire regimes as natural as possible. Pine trees are an important species for both ecological and economic reasons. They provide habitat for various forms of wildlife, such as birds, mammals, and insects. They, also, they are also able to sequester carbon, helping mitigate the effects of climate change. In terms of wildfire management, pine forests are often the focus of significant resources for wildfire control. To understand the management and conservation of pine ecosystems, it is essential to understand their evolutionary history. During the Cretaceous period, pine trees evolved traits to avoid, tolerate, and embrace fire, enabling them to persist while other gymnosperms did not. Pine trees have developed complex adaptations to fire with different species evolving different strategies. Fire tolerators have thick bark and long needles to protect against fire, while fire embracers promote fire their dead branches and post-fire reproductive events. Fire avoiders have developed adaptations for extreme heat and cold, such as short, densely packed needles. These adaptations allow pine trees to thrive in habitats that are often challenging and prone to fire. Understanding the intricacies of these adaptations is crucial for the management and conservation of pine ecosystems, ensuring the continued survival of these important species. Here are my references. Goodbye.